When we used the formula for shared pairs, we were imposing the octet rule on our Lewis structure. However, we ended up with formal charges on every atom, including a plus two formal charge on bromine. Smaller formal charges can be had if we break the octet rule as in this structure. In the bottom structure, there are 12 electrons around bromine, clearly violating the octet rule. But this structure has formal charges closer to zero. Let's answer the same questions using the bottom structure. Of course, the name is still bromate ion. Are there resonance structures? Yes, the single bond could have been to the left oxygen or to the right oxygen. So there are three resonance structures. Notice, though, that there are still four electron groups around bromine. So the bond angle is still 109 degrees. The shape is still trigonal pyramidal. We won't answer the hybridization question since we would have to invoke d orbitals to do so. With the bottom structure having two double bonds, there would be three sigma bonds and two pi bonds. That also works out to a bond order of 1.67 which is the average of 2, 2, and 1. We might ask, which is the correct structure? The first one obeys the octet rule, but has large formal charges. The second one has better formal charge distribution, but violates the octet rule. So, which is correct? The answer is probably neither. We know that oxygen is more electronegative than bromine, so the oxygen atoms will be partial negative, but probably not a full negative charge like the first structure suggests. Bromine will be partial positive, so not zero positive like the second structure suggests. So the real structure is likely somewhere in between these two extremes. A better representation might be this, where we draw single bonds, but the atoms carry partial charges. Regardless, in this section of this course, we will use the octet rule, so for us, the first structure is the correct structure. We just need to understand that it won't always give the best representation of the molecule or ion.